this was the subject of a video back in 2013 this is the German model 1913 Kugelgranat hand grenade model 1913 cast iron with these segmented edges so that when the high explosive explodes inside these come off and fly through the air so it's designed to kill more by shrapnel than blast um, usually this is how you find them if you look back at the video I did in 2013 this is what it looked like um, you can get the, the fuses to go in the top as deactivated items you can also buy modern reproductions ironically um, modern reproductions tend to cost more as a deactivated original as you saw from one of the previous videos I was at the Great Malvern uh, military convention at the three county showground the other day and there was a guy from Belgium and he had a lot of these five to eight second fuses for both the model 1913 and the model 1915 Kugel and grenade and these he had on his stall priced at eight pound but he did a bit of negotiation got them for six pound it's a kind of friction fuse you pull it and then throw the grenade and one of these always finishes off one of these really nicely in the top it's threaded and the old safe deactivated fuse nearly screws into place and that wire thing at the top acts as a finger ring and you simply pull it and then throw it so that's how they should be just like that now in 1915 the grenade was revised and what the Germans brought out was this one that I bought the other day at Great Malvern. Now this one is the 1913 grenade but to ease production in 1915 they revised it and brought out this one. It's still got a few segmented areas but it's more easier to cast than that one. So that's the model 1915 German hand grenade again same fuse friction pull igniter and it merely screws into place and again that's how you always find them not in as good as condition as that that's how you find them a few more quid extra you get a fuse to screw in the top and that finishes off nicely so this is a subject of this video the 1915 model grenade and um, this is the one that I got a great Malvern the other day it cost me 40 pounds um, purely because it came from a guy who brought about five or six in from Belgium to sell at the event if that was bought from a UK dealer you'd pay well in excess of a hundred pound for the item and as I say on his stall elsewhere he had a few of these fuses so a little bit of negotiation got me that now I was unsure as to what model that was at home so I was certain I had that one but I wasn't sure if I had that one turns out I didn't have that one but now I do so that's a nice comparison set model 1913 German hand grenade model 1915 German hand grenade that one bought for 40 pounds at Great Malvern and if you can get to the event it is well worth going to and when these grenades were issued they were issued in a kind of metal a metal pannier frame with an open underside and the frame was clipped to the Germans leather belt and inside the frame this loop was fixed to the underside of the metal frame and the open end of the frame at the bottom there was a leather strap which held the grenade in place and when the German needed it for use what used to happen was he undid the leather strap as he pulled the grenade from the bottom of the metal frame this piece still secured the metal frame would pull the igniter and as soon as he undid the strap and pulled it out of the frame it set the grenade ready to explode so he had to throw the grenade immediately the metal frame not very popular so a lot of these tended to be carried in the pocket 
but they couldn't carry a lot of them because obviously you would damage the igniter or you would accidentally pull it out but that's how they were initially um intended to be to be armed they were never intended to be held and thrown like a a british mills bomb for example or an american pineapple grenade these were intended to be pulled out of a metal frame carrier attached to the guy's belt and by pulling it out of the metal carrier it pulled the wire which activated it and the guy had to immediately throw it and it had about a five to eight second delay fuse depending on what type was used so see you don't have to buy original fuses you can buy reproductions there's plenty of reproductions available but they tend to be more expensive than originals so buy the original if you can afford to do so they're not very expensive but they do finish off one of these grenades if you have one so if you have one of these grenades or one of those grenades and you have a hole in the top with a screw thread that is what's supposed to go into it okay so it doesn't matter what model it is it, it can be brass it can be steel it can be alloy but they all thread into the same models so that's the 1913 hand grenade and the 1915 hand grenade.